The difference between Bitcoin and uh, the blockchain, to me, there is no difference. Uh, in my view, uh, there is only one blockchain, and that is the Bitcoin blockchain. And uh, it was created to do one specific purpose, for one specific purpose, in my opinion. And it does it really, really well. Um, it basically created a valuable message transfer across the world, a permissionless way uh, to send value in the digital age. And uh, so far, that's been its only real application and its only uses of Bitcoin, uh, which a lot of people frown upon, are basically used for, um, in, in ways that make it difficult to use the current financial system, uh, which is why you hear all these things about, well, the Silk Road and then some of the other um, activities that people don't approve of. And the reason is because people are kind of forced to use Bitcoin because they can't just go to a bank. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna take a poll of the time, but to me, uh, blockchain is Bitcoin. It's a proof of work system that you need to create uh, a blockchain and a competing proof of work system will not be able to compete with Bitcoin. And if it's not a proof of work system, I don't really consider it a blockchain in my opinion. Well, Bitcoin is a blockchain. It was the first blockchain application. Um, what Bitcoin is and why it's interesting is because it's a decentralized ledger that is secure despite attacks from within. It's a Byzantine fault tolerant distributed application. It's the first of its kind. Um, we've had distributed databases before, but nothing that was Byzantine fault tolerant. Byzantine just means, you know, arbitrary malicious actors. And um, Bitcoin was the first application that showed a BFT distributed ledger can run into wild. It's still running today despite people trying to attack it. All right, so blockchain is an umbrella term that refers to Bitcoin as well as non-Bitcoin BFT distributed ledgers. That's how I see it. What I think is happening in the space is you could really see a geographic division. On the West Coast, uh, you see uh, pure Bitcoin companies that are looking to disintermediate, disrupt, and create new, new revenues. On the East Coast, you see people that are less, less interested in Bitcoin as a token or a currency or a digital bearer asset. <clears throat> and what they're interested in is back office efficiencies. And so they believe with a shared distributed ledger that they'll be able to create efficiencies that aren't there currently today. And today what we see is siloed databases that need to be reconciled and are prone to human error where what has happened in the past is you've had databases trying to act like messaging systems and messaging systems trying to act like databases and neither of that works very well. And so the belief is that we can have a shared distributed ledger to create efficiencies in the back offices. And, and I think uh, putting it in that context uh, helps also with the, the big B versus the little B. So um, we see Bitcoin, the blockchain, um, you know, in the public setting as the yin and yang. They are inextricably, uh, they are linked. So we see them as codependent and as, as uh, I think, one that needs the other. This is specifically for um, public blockchains. But if you actually look at what we're trying to do, so Align Commerce is trying to pioneer combo chains, essentially a way for public and private consortium blockchains to speak with each other. I think it's very, very early. I mean, when we started the company over two years ago, we were one of the uh, main proponents of the blockchain use case. So Align uses the blockchain as a settlement rail for payments. Actually, uh, we started looking at Bitcoin blockchain about two years ago. We made an investment in chain.com. Uh, Adam is a great CEO, but uh, when we started looking at uh, blockchain, it was, it was a lot of hype. So we spent a year understanding the space, understanding what the technology was about, getting really deep and embedded into the space. We saw all the deals that happened in Silicon Valley last year, all the startups around Bitcoin and blockchain. And I think uh, blockchain is like any other kind of new technology. It starts with a the hype. Then after the hype, uh, people start building the protocols and building the infrastructure. Those guys get investments. And I think the 
point where we are from blockchain is very different from where we are like a year ago. A year ago, you have blockchain in your deck. You know, the investor would take a meeting and listen to what you're trying to do. But now you have to have more than that because we're looking for people that are building use cases that are big and global. You know, the technology is fairly known. What is missing is a really, really global use case that has traction that can move. And then basically that's where our mindsets are.